Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, welcome back to another video lesson. All right, we got another good one for you. This one is how to make money trading the markets, the TTM squeeze, all right? Hey, if that sounds good to you, then do me a favor. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps support the channel. And again, if you like what you hear today, all we ask is, hey, think about subscribe. All right, everybody, and stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to share with you a link on how you can get my latest book, Trading Part-Time, completely for free. All right, let's go ahead and jump into today's video lesson. What we're going to talk about in this lesson is going to blow your mind. So you're going to see on the screen the Euro Japanese Yen, but we're going to be focusing on the squeeze. So hang tight and watch this video. I know we don't normally talk about the squeeze in the world of Forex, but I want you guys to pay attention because if you trade the squeeze, this will apply to anything. So now this is the Euro Japanese Yen, but this is going to apply to anything. So what I want to do is direct your attention to the daily time frame. Okay, the daily time frame. Now you guys know I love the squeeze. But I also love bear flags and bull flags. And again, hang tight, guys. This is going to deal with the squeeze. So bear with me. I just want to lay the foundation. Okay? So like, for example, low, high, low, high, low. And it's pulling up. You guys know me in the world of Forex. You may not, but I also trade Forex. And, and I love price action trading without indicators on the daily time frame. But one of the things that I want to mention here, and I'm going to just kind of analyze this. And let me switch colors because you might not like pink. Whenever we have a bear flag, a bear flag, what that is is lows, lower lows and lower highs. Again, hang on. Y'all keep paying attention. This is going to get good. Okay. So one of the things that we're looking at is when I'm focused on the daily time frame, let's say you want to drop it down into a smaller time frame. One of the things I'm telling my students is, for example, when price is moving down, so it's in the bear flag and it's moving down, on a daily time frame, like for example right here, it came up to resistance, gets a signal, and then it shoots down, right? That's the bear flag. On a smaller time frame, what are we looking for? I'm looking for squeezes on the smaller time frame. So if I, and I'm going to show you an example in a minute. It's going to freak you out, okay? So if it's down, hooking up at resistance, I am going to be looking for this bad boy to stall and then go down. And then this whole ride to the downside, I am going to be looking for squeezes on a smaller time frame. And we're going to look at this one on a smaller time frame in a minute. But then what happens is it comes down, right? Because a bear flag is lower lows and lower highs. So it needs to hook up into a lower high. I'm expecting this chart to go down. It is hooking up. Give me a signal. Now, the deal it's whenever you're in this flag and it's it, you know it's going towards your target i always tell you stocks or pairs do two things they trade either at the mean which is a squeeze or away from the mean in this case it's away from the mean we would expect it to pull back right eventually it's going to pull back to the mean so what you can do is whenever you have that flag that is extended to the target you drop into a smaller time frame. We're going to drop into a smaller time frame. Okay. One thing I want to mention is, do you see this absolutely beautiful trend to the downside? Beautiful. What in, Where is that in time? By the way, this is the 39-minute chart. 39-minute chart. Okay. Now, this is an absolute beauty why is it a beauty jeff well the blue is below the red which is below the pink and i mean it is just clean 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 and look at these squeezes okay so it's going down you got squeezes boom 
squeeze. Boom. No more squeezes there. But again, you got two beautiful squeezes. This squeeze would have just rocket shipped. Okay, now again, I know this is, says the Euro Japanese yen, but it doesn't matter. Okay, think about Facebook, Microsoft, whatever. But here's the kicker. Remember what I said. If you have a bear flag and it's already extended, right? Maybe it's hit your Fibonacci target. We're expecting it to reverse back up before it continues its move down, right? That hook up. Look at this, guys. Look at this. You went down to, okay, so it's low. Low, low, high, high, beautiful, right? Beautiful. Low, but look at this. Equal low. That's our first sign of reversal. So we got an equal low. The candles are yellow, so that means the bearish momentum is dying. Doesn't mean it can't continue to go down, but it's weakening. But look at this this beautiful divergence we talk about divergences and if you haven't seen divergences go back and watch some of my videos but look at this a divergence leading into the squeeze i talk about that all the time when you have a divergence leading into the squeeze it can mean rocket ship the other way now how could we have anticipated this well we were in a bear flag we were extended that's telling me that, because remember, the trend is down. We're expecting it to hook up. This was the area that you could have taken it to the long side. But you could have seen this so easily. Beautiful downtrend, divergence, momentum stall, squeeze, fire to the upside. Okay? Fire to the upside. So let's go back here. Zoom in. That move was this beautiful move right here. And then that move down at the bottom. That move down at the bottom is right here. It's so crystal clear if you're looking for it. Now, what's going on now, Jeff? Well, what's going on now is do you see this 3D? Again, it doesn't matter if this is 4X. Bear flag, hook up. Bear flag, hook up. Bear flag, hook up. So in this move, you can have a massive series of beautiful squeezes in the middle of a downtrend. In this move, to the upside, you catch the reversal. Beautiful squeezes to the upside. Beautiful squeezes to the downside. Beautiful squeezes to the upside. So think about this. You've got this wonderful three candle. They're called three white soldiers. That's what they call them in candlestick theory. Don't worry about it. It doesn't mean nothing. It just means three updates. So somebody's going to be like, hey, guys, you got three white soldiers here. Hey, by my course, I can teach you three white soldiers. Yep. I'll charge you $1,500, and I'll teach you these awesome candle pattern. It's called three white soldiers. Who gives a shit? It's three up candles. Calm down. That's all it is. So three up candles on the daily, but look at this. Look at this. It's a beautiful uptrend on a smaller time frame. The eight is above the 21 which is above the 34. And look at this, squeeze, rocket ship, squeeze, rocket ship, squeeze, rocket ship. Guess what? On the daily, where are we expecting it to go? Up here to resistance and then roll over. Okay. If that happens, check this out. I've already, that line is on the chart already because I drew it. So it's going to come up here, boing, boing, oh. Guess what? The blue is going to cross the pink. Maybe. Again, we don't know the future. I'm just saying that if it does hit, if it does hit the resistance and do what it's supposed to. Go like this. Oh, roll over. And guess what? Guess what? You might even see a divergence over here, a bearish divergence. And now you can just catch the squeezes to the downside. I mean, Absolutely clean, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chart. But we can spot this because, again, we're looking into the future. We are, this is bear flagging. So go find a beautiful chart that is bear flagging. And on these smaller time frames, look for squeezes. 
And then when it hits your resistance, look for the reversal. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm anticipating this is going to come up here somewhere and roll over and then turn into this beauty. You can do that with your option trading as well. Okay? You can do that with your option trading as well. Absolutely. I mean, look at this. Let's go back a little bit. This move right here is phenomenal to the downside. What time frame was that? That was 326. Let's drop it back. 326. Okay, well, that's in, that's in that area. Okay, that's in that area. Now, it was a little bit more choppy, but it was still downtrending. You still had squeezes. Again, it's not as beautiful, but this one was. Came up into the 34, boom. Okay, up here, squeeze, boom. Again, it's not going to be the crystal clear, but but look, okay, it's still beautiful. And then look, it reverses trend to the upside. Okay, now here's also a caveat, guys. If it doesn't look beautiful like this, you don't have to trade it. This is the chart that I'm looking for. If it's choppy, sloppy, and kind of bouncing all over the place like a psychotic maniac, I don't have to trade it. This is what I'm looking for. So right now, if it pulls back and gives a squeeze, I'll trade it up into resistance on the smaller time frame. But my whole point of this training video lesson is bear flags. In this case, we saw the reversal. Do you know how much money you can make on Forex and option trading from here? And it was crystal clear if you knew what to look for. Crystal clear. If you knew what to look for, we, and I talk about it all the time, divergence leading into a squeeze after a downtrend. In this case, the blue crossed. You could even have waited for that rocket ship to the upside, which means I am now waiting for the opposite. I mean, but personal, this picture is it's the most beautiful picture ever, okay? And it might just keep breaking up, but you'll know when it reverses. Because the blue's gonna cross the pink, and then we're on to the downside. So that's why what I'm pointing out, guys, is whenever you have a bear flag, and again, it works the same, it works the opposite for bull flag, but again, same concept. You're looking for those beautiful squeeze moves to the upside. Watch the reversal, and then look for the beautiful squeeze moves to the downside. So, so anyway, these are concepts that normally people are not gonna go in depth with you. They're going to charge you thousands of dollars to tell you this. They're going to say, well, there's this one pattern that'll change your life if you trade it, guaranteed. But you need to get my course to find it out. And so and I'm telling you right now, yes, I have a course. And the course is amazing because if you think the free stuff is good, then imagine the live stuff. But I'm trying to provide you guys with as much value as possible. So do me a favor. When you got a bear flag, when it's going down, so you've got the pole, right? The ah, hang on, you've got the pole. Hook up the flag right here. You can catch a bunch of bull flags to the upside. Hook, rolls over, spot the divergence. Look for the crossover. Goes down. Bunch of bear flags. Hook up divergence into the squeeze and just ping pong your way down. All right, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video lesson. And if you did enjoy the lesson, do me a favor. Hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Oh, and by the way, check down below in the description. There's a link on how you can get my latest book, Trading Part Time, completely for Don't forget to take a look at my next video coming up right there. We know you'll enjoy it. All right, everybody. We'll see you in the next video lesson.